Hello everyone. Hope you had a really great holiday season. You are now fully recovered to start a brand new year, right? Well, Jack and his mama had an equally wonderful and joyous season. In fact, they pulled in all 43 totes of decorations. That cabin was completely sparkly from head to toe. In fact, they put so many decorations on the tree, you could barely see any green at all. But when they looked up at the very top, there was something missing. The star. They couldn't find it anywhere. So Jack's mama looked at him. And she said, now, Jack, I know how you like adventuring, so I need you to go out and find us a star. Well, he was really excited. So he got his boots, and he got his big coat, and he got his hat and his scarf. And she goes, now, Jack, wait a minute. I got to give you an address. It's, it's a red house with no doors and no windows. You think you can find that? Now, Jack looked at his mama because, um, well, he was a little bit concerned that uh, the holiday shopping had maybe gone to her head because that sounded near impossible. A red house with no doors and no windows? What kind of place was that? Well, Jack needed any excuse to go outside. So he got ready and he headed out the door and he was really excited going down the lane and he saw a friend of his building a snowman. Now we don't get to do this very often in Tennessee, but he was really excited. So he ran over to help her and he and that little girl, they rolled up a big ball of snow for the snowman's bottom part. And then they rolled up a medium size for the uh, snowman's middle part. And then they rolled up a little billy ball of snow for the snowman's head. And they were having so much fun. They were laughing and everything. Jack almost forgot why he had come out. But he remembered. And so he asked the little girl if she knew of any houses that um, were red with no doors and no windows. Um, I don't think so, Jack. I don't think there is such thing. But if there was, my daddy would know about it. See, he's down there by the barn. He was a chop of wood. So why don't you go ask him? So Jack thanked the little girl, headed on down the lane, and there was her daddy right where she said he was, just finished up chopping that wood. So Jack picked up a big stack and helped the man carry it into the barn so it wouldn't get wet. Then he asked the man if he had ever seen a red house with no doors and no windows. The man rubbed his chin a little bit. He said, well, Jack, uh, I don't know of any such place, but uh, I bet Mother Hall would know. She has that big old porch that goes all the way around the front of her house. She's out there all the time. I bet she could help you out. Why don't you go up there and ask her? So Jack thanked the man and went on his way. He walked up and he saw that porch with the wraparound porch. And he walked up the steps and he saw the old lady sitting there right in the middle of that snow. She had a great big crazy quilt of all sorts of winter color cover ugh, colors pulled up around her. It was all blue and silvers and browns and grays. And she had a nice cup of steamy good stuff right between her fingers. Jack completely forgot his manners. Walked right up the steps and said, ain't you cold? She just laughed. She said, now Jack, I am, I'm not cold in the least bit. I got myself my quilt and my hot cider and my sweater and my coat and my hat and my scarf just like you. I'm real cozy, in fact. Did you need something, Jack? Jack straightened up real quick. Uh, yes, ma'am. Um, my mama said uh, I need to come out and um find us a star. But she said it was in this red house with no doors and no windows, and I don't know where that is. Mother Hall just laughed. <gasps> oh, Jack. 
Your mama knows about the home of the Queen of Blossoms. And I'll give you a hint. Why don't you bring me something out of my cellar? The first thing you see down there, you bring it to me and I'll give you a hint. Wow. Jack thought that was a pretty good deal. So he went on down the steps and he went around the house. Now, back in these days, cellars and basement doors were not inside the house. They were on the outside because they were underneath the house and they were the places where you kept your vegetables and your fruits and your herbs to keep them cool during the winter so you could still fill up your belly till springtime when all the good food came out. So Jack went around the house looking for the cellar door and he finally found it. Great big thing sticking out the side of the house like a strange rock. So he took both hands and he pulled the handles open and he looked down and down and down. It was the darkest dark he had ever seen. But he had promised his mama and he had promised Mother Hall. So he took a step and he took another step and he went down the stairs. He looked around as he was walking down and amazingly enough do you know when you spend time in the dark then your eyes adjust and by the time he hit the dirt floor he could see pretty good in fact he saw a great big barrel right next to the bottom step filled with something he hadn't seen in months big red juicy apples and so he put that uh, one of those apples in his pocket and he walked back up the steps again. It took half as much time as it took for him to get down. And he went around the house. And Mother Hall was still sitting on the front porch, nursing her hot cider. He walked up and he pulled out the pocket and uh, he pulled out the apple out of his pocket and gave it to her. Out of nowhere, it seemed, she pulled out a knife. And then she cut open the apple crosswise like this. And she said, now, Jack, this is what your mama was talking about. This here is the house of the Queen of Blossoms. See how it's all red with no doors and no windows? It even has a little chimney on top. And Jack, if you just look inside, you see those stars, don't you? Well, Jack was so excited took the apple all careful and he put it back in his pocket because he just wanted to get home at that point because now he had two presents for his mama an apple and a story thank you